let us move on to the next scenario. This scenario is very common in Malaysia, which is how you can manage a backdated invoice. Let's create a new invoice. I choose a customer and sell service to them. Imagine this is the 30 April compared to today, 30 May. So I try to approve and send this invoice. As you can see, it will prompt out a message say that e-invoice insurance date is too old. You can set issue date time to current date in document info. Even though I click yes, the e-invoice status will still become invalid. So let us view and it will say issuance date time value of the document is too old that cannot be submitted. So this is the LHDN error to me. It's trying to tell me that you are backdating. So in LHDN perspective, they only accept three days before. But this invoice compared to today's date is one month before. So what I should do now is to edit this invoice. Let us check on document info. And you can see a function which is issue date time. So we can put today's date here. And we click OK, close. Then click on save. Once we save, it will be automatically resubmitted. And I just need to click refresh e invoice status. You can see it is now valid. Let's move on to look into our My Invoice portal. You can see this invoice is successfully submitted to LHDM with the date May. In your own cloud counting, this invoice is reflected in April. So you have two dates over here. One is your posting date, one is your submission date. So to manage the backdated e-invoice case, don't worry about the submission date. From LHTM perspective, there is no specific timing for it to issue an e-invoice. This you can find in the FAQ guide. So make use of the issue date time function that is provided by AutoCount on how you can handle backdated invoices.